So, um, yeah. we're technically on now, so you can take it away when you're ready. Talk about whatever you want. Um, <laughs> what's How many people do you actually get to like talk about this kind of stuff? This kind of stuff? Or just like talking in general? Lots of people. Lots of people, Enough really? that I'm like at least 100 videos behind on where I should be. But, gotcha. Yeah. So what's up, man? Alrighty, yeah. So I guess I kind of do an intro myself. I'm uh, Scott Fairley. I'm the founder and CEO of Automotive Technologies. We're a uh, Windsor-based robotics firm working on uh, robotics platforms in extreme environments. Okay. So we like have, Canada? Yeah, like Mars, exactly. Like... Well, but more so, yeah, Canada and like construction sites, mining operations, oil and gas, that kind okay. of stuff. So, so you're trying to replace the child laborers? <laughs> yeah, well, more so like the laborers of like working on really, really crappy tasks nobody really wants to do. I see. So working on the automation side of things with that. So right. we built a little like robotics platform that's based on a uh, ETV platform. And it's okay. able to run around uh, on construction sites and that kind of stuff. And do what? Uh, so it automates yeah, data. It automates data collection. Um, so we can automate things like 3D scanning and a lot of like crappy tasks that nobody really really wants to do. 3D scanning. Yeah, so we do 3D scanning using attachment on the back. I of didn't the know there's people that do 3D scanning. Yeah, on you'd be surprised. Sites. We're talking to a few big construction companies right now, and a lot of them will have like large teams of like 15 to 20 people doing large like, teams that you're looking to downsize. Yeah, well, I mean, no, everybody <laughs> wants to do the post processing and like working with the data. Nobody wants to be in the field actually collecting it. It's just, like a, not a fun time. So oh, those guys yeah. are going to be out of a job soon. Thanks well, to working you, on more so. meaningful. Full tasks, eh? Right. <laughs> That's the way that we maybe, say. maybe. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know if like the you know switchboard people are now working in True. more meaningful tasks necessarily, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, well, sure. Luckily, the people that are uh, interacting with the data that we collect are, um, they normally would be like doing the scanning out in the field, and now so they're more working in the office doing the post-processing of the information, so they're not losing jobs or anything like that. That's so, what we hope, yeah. right? That's what we hope. <laughs> exactly. So I have some questions about you. How long have you been doing this for? How long ago? Like, which one? Like, okay, YouTube, I've been doing the job? Uber for uh, for uh, the, uh, about a year and a half. Okay. I've been doing the YouTube thing. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't really picked up a whole lot. Okay. By the time you see this video, though, it'll be blown up. There you like go. Crazy. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, man. So, again, what got you into the robotics as a whole? Yeah, so I was on uh, the robotics team of a local high school. Which is? Uh, Vincent Massey Secondary School. How old are you? Uh, 21, too. Yeah. Oh so, shit, you yeah. know Mohamed? Uh, yeah, I would, yeah. Uh, of course, <laughs> yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, also, we... Also, uh, Massey kid here, who yeah. also knows Mohamed. Just, awesome. just for the audience. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't know what the fuck we're talking about, <laughs> but you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, so no, we started the company directly after uh, graduating high school in really? uh, 2016. Yeah, we had a did you even team. go to school? Like, no, like university? So, or like, went to St. Clair for a uh, year and a half, then dropped out. Interesting. So, All right. yeah, like, true entrepreneur here. I like it. Yeah, the schools can be great in some contexts, but the way but that, not in many other contexts. It, it depends. So, I mean, like, if you're somebody who like really, I guess, knows what they want to do right out of the gate, and like have the like drive to learn on your own, right, and like have that hands-on ability, and like which I, I did, right. Uh, school just didn't make a lot of sense for me. But yeah. there's a lot of people that learn very differently, so the, the school can be great for some people, but really terrible for others. I know, man. I, personally, I feel like the, the school is only necessary now for something that you need a degree to do. Like, you know, yeah, if you need to be a doctor, to regulatory like, yeah. bodies, or if you're trying to be like a um, civil engineer or something like that. Yeah, because yeah, outside of that, like you said, like if you don't have that drive, I don't think it's gonna matter. No, if you're in university, you're gonna be like, oh, fuck this. Yeah. I'm gonna go, you know. Exactly. And yeah. like, entrepreneurship is not an easy road uh, yeah, by, by, by any means. Um, and if like you don't have that like thick skin and like ability to kind of pick yourself up and keep learning and have step. like, yeah, and like not being afraid to fail. Like I notice a lot of people who do really, really well in school right. don't necessarily have that freedom to fail, I guess, in that context. And I like see. you need to be able to just like learn and pick yourself back up. And it's a very interesting analysis. Yeah, yeah. We, we wouldn't really, or on our side of things, we wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't have that. I can tell you, ninety-nine percent of massive kids would not even consider dropping out of. Yeah, there's the odd few. I know a few. I, I know a few that have done really, really well after dropping out. And again, like it's it's not for everybody. And like I wouldn't say oh drop out because that's the cool thing to do. Like it, it really depends on your your situation, right? right and right. for some people, going to school is great. For others, it's it's not so much. So right. yeah, really, uh, really depends on that context. But. So I'd recommend anybody who's uh, who's out there get into robotics if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And um, I had started just on like the media team of robotics. I wasn't even like hands on the actual development side of things. And through my career and like growing skill set, I was able to actually work very hardcore on some of the stuff that we're working on from like an engineering and software perspective. So um, there's nothing in today's 
day and age that you can't learn on the internet in some way, shape, or form. So That's right. Don't yeah. be afraid to uh, to fail and go out there and uh, learn everything you can because again, it's all free on the internet. So yeah. take advantage. Hashtag learn to go. <laughs> exactly. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, now we're really trying to look with people jobs, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, like, there's, there's a lot of great opportunities out there for, like, I know some, some buddies of mine who dropped out of high great school. Great opportunities. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, dropped out of high school and um, are software developers making insane money. Um, so I, I think the, the old adage of you have to go to school to get a good job is kind of fading in that context yeah. and that if you can build, like, my, always my recommendation to anybody is like, build anything you can while you can, I guess. Yeah. So whether like if you want to get into arts and crafts or like painting, get into painting, just paint as much as you can. You want to do software development, build as many little projects as you can. Laser and, focused. Yeah, exactly. Coming from the robot, robotics master. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about master, but um, yeah, we're, we're involved in it, so yeah. Speaking of master and university and stuff, like yep. it reminds me of all the people, you know, the job application says, you know, minimum requirement, master's degree, yeah. the base pay fifteen fifty or some shit. Sure, <laughs> so, yeah, no, yeah, if I've you're already... doing your own thing, you're good at it, man. Like, you could totally bank a lot harder than someone who actually went to and decades 100%, of school. And, like, when we're hiring individuals, like, we don't necessarily look at education. Like, uh, I think Elon Musk was one who spoke about this oh, uh, yeah. in this context where education is kind of a, an early indication that you might be uh, good at what you're wanting to get into but it's not necessarily the truth there's a, you'll find a lot of people who have engineering degrees are absolutely garbage at engineering or uh, a so lot of other things man like, exactly in business and uh, media relations anything like that you'll, you'll find people that have degrees and have really good grades but are absolutely terrible in the field and have people that have terrible grades but are extremely good at their jobs and so, there's people who have degrees and you're like holy shit this person is dumb as fuck yeah <laughs> like, it's I like how did you get in this like, position <laughs> oh yeah. my god so I, I 100% agree and yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing your YouTube channel bro thanks and, a lot uh, man but before you go that Elon uh, Musk you absolutely. mentioned I just gotta say like he, he, I think he's like kind of homeschooling his kids I don't know if he, he is them. yeah he so, yeah, is which is a different approach I think yeah homeschooling is like 50 yeah. 50 in my opinion where it's like especially I, I if your dad's Elon Musk yeah it's good to have like that social interaction and whatnot host you on the left but oh way. shit put um, the wrong thing in yeah uh, no, right, it's okay. back you up. um yeah, so I think like the the homeschooling is a, an interesting approach, and obviously I think the social interactions is a huge portion. Dude, of, of if you're fucking, so. if your science class is SpaceX, then yeah, no, take it, it around, makes, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This you here? Yeah, no, it's back there. It was like, Wait. Yeah, you pulled, you pulled into the driveway. What? <laughs> yeah, 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 we're gonna say something. Man. <laughs> That's why I said sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. Oh, are we there? Is we this, are, this is good enough. Good enough. Right. I'm distracted by uh, by talking. About Ride light, man. Ride, Ride light. light. Just one word. It's Thanks a lot. Good luck with you. your company. Appreciate one word, it. by the way. All right. Ride light. All right, you got it, man. Take care, man. Thanks for doing the thing. <laughs> no Much appreciated. Looking forward to seeing it up. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Talk soon. It'll be a while though.